Oh, my head. Do, do, do. Hey, we're live and we are talking sports today. Baseball, softball, baseball, softball, and this agile sports huddle. I, hey, good morning. This is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, and I am Greg Master Scrum, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. It's a Sunday, a little late. It's like 10.44 a.m., but, you know, it's been a good day, good evening, and uh, it's a Sunday, so relaxing a little bit. And uh, this is our 598th episode of the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, and we talk about Agile and Scrum in a practical and tactical way. So we bring value to our customer, not work crazy hours to get that value to the customer, get home so we can have some fun and enjoy the weekends, right? And do other things with our minds so that we're fresh and refreshed for work. If you're working all the time, you're not going to be refreshed. And that kind of, that's, we'll talk about that another day. What a uh, sprint review and sprint retrospective are really supposed to be about. But I'll bring that up another day. Today, Talk about the Agile Sports Huddle. I get a lot of questions a lot of times. We're just going to do one topic today about Dallas Strong. Why do we do it? Why do we get together? Why do I need to get together? We talk all day long. We do our thing. We do our stuff. We um, we meet. And why do we do the Daily Scrum? It's watching a baseball game together. I'm cooking. my daughter's playing softball. My son's playing some baseball. She likes to be with the all girls team because she gets tired of the boys. <laughs> and I'm like, more power to you, Isabella. Um, and one of the things you watch is some of these teams play that I was watching a high school level um, baseball team and I watched the college one because I was trying to make them watch more of the sports so they can learn more about it and what how it goes on because the more times you do it, the better you get at it, right? And uh, the team would, when they were trying to plan what they wanted to do, right? And maybe they got a person on first base and second base. If you know anything about American baseball, there's some bases and, and um, you know, maybe there's a couple outs and you want to get them out, three outs to get out and, and come in. So the team sometimes would huddle at the pitcher's mount and get make sure everybody knew what was everybody was doing. Very much like how the daily scrum is supposed to be. Kind of interesting, right? Do the same thing in American football. I don't think they – I think more American sports are more about that getting together and planning together than most of the other sports. So football's like that. Hockey, eh. Sometimes hockey's like that. Um, but mostly like football, baseball, stuff like that. Basketball, they do that a lot of basketball. Where they come together, they plan what they want to do in the next, like they got a little bit, they got to achieve something. Like if this happens, what do we do? How do we play this? How do we play as a team? And that's what's supposed to be happening in these daily scrums. The teams are supposed to, gather, supposed to get together and work together to get the work done. It's why they ask the question about how does this help us with our sprint goal? It's not to be, well, I can only say what is done yesterday to the sprint goal and what I am doing today. And the key word is I. Did you hear the I part? Doing for sprint goal and any blockers for me having sprint goal? No. How do we work together to get the goal? Like if you're if you're on the field in baseball, you're on defense. The goal is to get the player out so you can get in and score runs and win the game, right? To get off the defensive side. You want to be on the offense because you don't score ba- runs in baseball on the defensive side. It's one of the few sports where you can't score anything <laughs> when you're on defense. Football, you can score. Rugby, you can score. Basketball, you can steal it and score. Hockey, you can steal and score. I mean, baseball is the only sport, I think. I don't know. I got to learn about hurling. My we, my my neighbor next door, he's an Irishman. We were talking about hurling, so we got to talk about that. I have to learn more about that. He said, that's his sport. I'm like, okay. Um, so they come together. They plan how they're going to accomplish the goal of getting the person out and get back on offense. Just like in a daily scrum. A daily scrum is supposed to be about how everybody gets together to accomplish the goal. Now I say daily scrum. Did you know Kanban has a, a, a daily meeting too? 
And theirs is the same idea as how do we get this stuff through? What are we pulling next? What are we, what are we bringing over to the done? How do we get things to the done pile? They don't ask you that about sprint goals because they don't have sprint, but they say, how are we going to move some more stuff to done and get it in the customer's hands? They get together on a Kanban. XP, they're supposed to be meeting all the time together as a group on how we're getting a major idea to the finish line. You know, all the scaled ones, because they use all the other ones, they, they talk about it too. So daily scrum is like baseball and softball. How do we get together to accomplish our goal and get there? What are the things we need to do? How do we work to his team? Like if you're in baseball and I can draw it, like if the ball goes outfield, who do we throw the ball to? Do we try to get the out on second? Who's coming up the bat? Do we want to walk them? Do we want to plan for all bases? How does everybody feel about that decision, right? That's another thing they do. Okay, we're going to walk somebody, right? We're going to fill up the bases. They kind of check with everybody else on the team. Are you all comfortable with that? If we walk this person, we're going to have a person on first, second, and third. They could score a run and score offensively. But if you're all okay with that, we'll do that because that gives us more avenues to close out the inning. See how that works? That's what Daily Scrum is supposed to be about. It's about the team coming together and talking about how do we successfully finish this goal together? How do we get to the point where offense? I mean, you could say the same thing about football. In football, right? How? What plays do we want to run to get a first down? What plays do we want to run? Should we go for the touchdown? Should we have a couple and have one person go long to try to get a touchdown? Do we blitz the other team if you're on the defensive huddle side to try to think we can get them to fumble the ball and we take over and now have it on offense? That's what the huddle is about. So those huddles that you see in sports are really agile huddles. That's what agile teams are supposed to be discussing during those daily scrum meetings. How do we work as a team to get things done? So think about that as you're doing this stuff and think about baseball when you're watching a game and softball, because I'm going to be doing that today. I got softball a game with my daughter. I had a baseball game yesterday with my son. How are they? They're planning agile as a team. That's what my daily scrum should be like. You know what? Maybe catch a clip of one of the sports games and play it for your team. See, got, see everyone. They got to it. They're planning their little scrum, their little agile huddle to get it over the finish line, to meet their goal as a team. Make sure everybody's aware of what we're doing. So that's the other thing. They want to make sure everybody's aware of what we're doing. So if something goes wrong or why we're doing it, they all know where their spot is and what they need to do to contribute to the overall goal. Okay. So it's a real simple thing today. Today is Sunday. It's getting spring weather out here on the East Coast. So I figured I'd show like a baseball, softball thing because I saw that and I said, that is what daily scrum is supposed to be. The teams come together at the pitcher's mound. They meet to discuss what's coming up, who's got to do what, what are the options, where do we throw it to, who's got what things going. Plus, they're probably just hanging out, letting the pitcher rest. But that's another story. It's a chance to rest, to relax a little bit, calm down, get ready, figure out what the next steps are. Okay? Now, so next time you do daily scrum, think about baseball, think about softball, think about how they get together on the pitcher's mound and say, boy, wouldn't I like my team to be doing stuff like that too? It doesn't happen every day. It doesn't need to be every day. But every once in a while, when you're a scrum master and you're a coach and you're a teammate and you see they need to achieve something, it's the kind of question you ask. Can you say, hey, you know, I watched this baseball game the other day and they kind of planned, can we do that? Can we kind of recreate that? So with that, that's what today's subject is about today. Oh, and on our podcast, we now have a listener out of Egypt. So I want to welcome our listener from Egypt to our podcast. I saw that that popped up the other day that someone from Egypt was listening to our podcast. Um, so welcome. And I, I wish you the best and happiness. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the show. Ring the little bell if you want to get notification when we go live. And um, we got our 600th episode coming up on probably Tuesday. So I'm going to talk about some stuff on that one. This is our 600th episode. Always even number 100, so why not do something, right? Um, that's what I have today. I just want to wish you a happy scrumming, happy day, healthy. May everything go well for you. And um, 
you have an awesome day. Enjoy the weekend. If you have it, enjoy some family company time. Get recharged for the week, right? It's not about working every day of the night. All right. Take care. Have fun. And see you tomorrow.